Do you want to do this? No? Did you change your mind? Hey friends, I hope your week is off to a great start. Today, we are going to be talking about single track trails you could hike in a week or less. And I'm not going to call these through hikes because there's some debate as to what exactly constitutes a through hike. So we're going to call these single track trails. Um, and all of these are reasonable distance that you can hike in seven days or less. This is Again, like the review for the Osprey Levity, the video is pretty much an overview. I highly encourage you to go check out the much more detailed blog post on this subject. Uh, you can follow the link in the description or the one on the screen, go to that. And there's a lot more information about these trails, some links to check out if you're interested in further researching them and even information about possible shuttles that I've been able to gather. So uh, if you're really considering one of the trails that we are gonna talk about here today, then I encourage you to go check out that blog post and you can get some more information to hopefully help you get your hike planning underway. So we are getting into winter and I know there's lots of people who continue to backpack through the winter. I don't really. If I do, I focus mostly on more coastal trails. Um, but for a lot of people, winter is that time when hiking, backpacking kind of takes a backseat and you start to plan for the future, plan for those spring hikes when the weather gets a little bit warmer. So I thought, why not share a couple of trails that you could hike, you know, from one end to the other, uh, just a couple of ideas to maybe spark the inspiration to start planning for your spring hikes or something to look into over the winter if you're taking a break from the trail. So some of these I have hiked, some of these I've hiked part of, and some of them I haven't hiked yet, but I have all the research laid out and just want to pass it on to you in case it's a good fit for you. So the very first one on our list uh, should come as no surprise, the Foothills Trail. This trail has gotten so popular in just the last year or two, just so many people going out and hiking it. And you know I love it. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to take on the challenge. It is 76.2 miles. And if you hike at a pace at about 10, 15 miles a day, you can knock this out in anywhere between five and seven days. And the west terminus of this trail is at Oconee State Park, South Carolina, and the east terminus is Table Rock State Park, also South Carolina. So I hiked this trail mid-October of last year, averaged about 12 to 15 miles a day, and knocked it out in six days. I've heard of some people doing it in four days, uh, which is just crazy doing like over 20 miles a day. I don't really see how you can enjoy it going that fast, but it can be done in less, but it's generally recommended to take this at, you know, a pretty reasonable pace, anywhere between five and seven days. The second trail on our list is in the same neighborhood as the Foothills Trail. That's the Chattooga River Trail, and it actually shares trail with the Bartram and the Foothills for a pretty good distance. It is a 40 mile trail and kind of a point of reference is the 28 bridge or Russell bridge, uh, the southern terminus of the Bartram trail. So the Chattooga River trail runs 20 miles below that point and 20 miles above it. And you could hike this in three to four days if you averaged you know, 10 to 15 miles a day. The terrain isn't as strenuous. Uh, if you have hiked the area on the west side of the Foothills Trail near Burles Ford, that kind of gives you an idea of um, what you're dealing with as far as the terrain of this trail. I've heard a lot of people describe it as, oh, that's a, that's a pleasant walk. So um, not nearly as strenuous or challenging as some of the other ones on this list today. You'll find the southern terminus of this trail at the Chattooga River Info Center at the 76 Bridge in Georgia, and the northern terminus in Ellicott Rock Wilderness Area, a couple miles from where it splits off from the Foothills Trail. And that's 
kind of bordering Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. There's some pretty interesting info uh, about that kind of border dispute. Go look up the Walton War if you want a quick history lesson. So I haven't hiked this trail in its entirety yet. I sure would like to. It'd be pretty fun to take one of the dogs out there and just go take it on in a weekend. But I have hiked from Nicholson Ford into Ellicott Rock Wilderness area and really did enjoy the bit that I did get to see of this trail on that uh, two to three day trip. Third on our list, is the Art Loeb Trail. This one, it will test you physically, mentally, emotionally, I'm pretty sure spiritually, but if you are up to the challenge, then this one is for you. It is a 30.1 mile trail, and you can do it in anywhere between two and four days. There are some crazy people who do the Art Loeb in a day, but generally people take two, which is kind of pushing it, uh, to four days to complete this trail. This trail runs through Pisgah National Forest, specifically the Pisgah Ranger District, and you'll find your northern terminus at Daniel Boone Scout Camp and your southern terminus at Davidson River Campground. I have hiked this. I did it in two days, and that was very difficult. I think if I were to do it again, I would go southbound instead of northbound and would take my time with it. Take anywhere from three to four days and not average, you know, more than eight to 10 miles in a day. Because I did this, like I said, two days doing 15 mile days back to back and it is very strenuous terrain. So uh, take it from someone who's done it. It's probably best to take your time on this one but it can be done in a weekend. This fourth one on our list is a coastal trail and is actually best hiked in the dead of winter. So if you start planning now, you might could pull this off in January or February, and that's the Nusiok Trail. This one is a 20 mile trail, uh, 40 if you do it as a yo-yo. And because this is kind of a coastal trail, you're not gonna have elevation changes to contend with or anything. So, you know, 20 flat miles is very different compared to 20 mountain miles. So it would be more feasible to do a yo-yo hike, especially in anywhere between like three to four days, possibly a weekend. This trail is in Croatan National Forest, North Carolina. Your southern terminus is Oyster Point Campground and your northern terminus is Pine Cliff picnic area. I had to make sure I said that right instead of saying campground. It's picnic area. This is not a trail I have personally hiked. I am researching it and sure would like to give it a try either this winter or next. And winter is the very best time to hike it from what everybody who, you know, I've spoken to that has done it has said. Not only because you're not going to be dealing with reptile encounters, but you're also not going to have to worry about the bugs as much or the hellish heat. So you want to go in most of the brush and foliage just kind of died off instead of when it's at its peak, because then, like I said, the snakes are at their peak, so are the bugs, and so is the heat during that time, just making it an unpleasant experience. Now, some of the information that is available about this trail isn't exactly accurate or has not been updated, so if you are considering it, you want to learn more or even hear about some of those details that uh, have changed, uh, please do check out that post, like I mentioned, that I wrote up about it. I include kind of those details about uh, things that have not been updated information-wise or um, possible things you could run into uh, with this trail. So that wraps up our list. I know I've pitched it like three times. Go check out that blog post that, you know, gives you more information about these trails mentioned here today. If you would like to see me do another video like this, then you're in luck. I'm currently working on list number two for single track trails you could hike in a week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind